All right, everybody, come on in, come on in. Uh, happy Monday. Good to see you again. If it's your first time here or you're new, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today we are making dinner. We are making something savory that came up in my robot device. And so I saved it. It is a taste of home recipe. It says creamy sausage mushroom rigatoni. We are not going to do rigatoni because I am trying to be lower carb and calories. Clearly I like to eat <laughs> and I'm working on that always. So we are going to we're going to substitute it with some zoodles. Those are zucchini noodles. Um, but if <laughs> you can have the full flavor pasta, please have some for me. So we're going to take attendance here. If you would like to be counter present, please announce yourself. If you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and you know who you are, you are most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. So let's see who we have here and uh, then we'll wash our hands and get started and I'll show you all the recipe that came up in my feed. Let me clean my glasses. Pulling up on two wheels all the time. I know, I know y'all. You know those cooking shows where everything is like prepared and it's already set up and it's just a wonderful experience. This is not that. But we have fun here. So let's see who we have. TikTok, y'all don't stop. We have Zero Cipher, Trey Mo, Maria, Angie. Oh, we have a Margaret. My name's Margaret. Maggie is my childhood nickname. Hello, Margaret. Uh, M. Dallas, Zay, Zabriti, Mark, Blanche, Barbara, Gloria, Deborah, Demel. Um, so, Brady, Rahim, Alfreda. Rahim says, hey, hey, Rahim. Uh, let me make sure my stuff is on Do Not Disturb. Y'all know I will get a phone call in the middle of a stream. Sorry about that. We have Edward Tensi or Tensi, Joy, Donna. I'm sorry, I can't read the uh, the alphabet. I don't know if that's Russian. Welcome, whoever you are. Apna, maybe. And then Virginia. Thank you all so much for being here. And then on... Um, Oh, Instagram, we have Ritsu and we have Body Whisper saying, I joined. Hello, thank you so much for being here. As always, those of you all on Instagram and TikTok, if you would like the full view, you can see the side by side. Uh, we have a new website for you all. It's Teachable Moments with Maggie. That's where everything is going to be. I'm having a proper website built out on MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. So right now, if you go there, it'll say something like coming soon, which is not helpful. So if you go to Teachable Moments with Maggie.com, you can find, uh, find me everywhere. And um, you can also find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. That's where I am, Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. All right. So who do we have here? We got oh, 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 Sheila. Dunna, 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 dun, dun, oh, Sheila. She says, looking beautiful today. Thank you for saying that. So I'm wearing a bodysuit, just a little mini skirt. I don't know if y'all can see. And then some tights and some, <laughs> my go-to uh, ballet. I had a little cover up but uh it's nice and bright shout out show me your african without telling me you're african but thank you for the compliment my dear we got sabrina christie in the house saying hi maggie and friends thank you so much for being here lisa says hello again you love these two times a day okay i'm spoiling y'all and i don't mind i don't mind we'll see how long it lasts so i'm trying a couple streams per day we're doing Two a day. If you're new here, we're doing like 12 p.m. or lunchtime East Coast. And then we're also doing dinner on uh, East Coast, which is like 5 p.m. my time. I'm in the Atlanta area. Uh, I already know tomorrow we can do a lunchtime stream, but I got parent teacher conferences tomorrow evening. So it'll be a little bit later tomorrow. And we'll see what kind of mood I'm in after the parent teacher conference. But it's okay. Boy, mom, two teenage boys. Y'all already know. Um, she says, you don't eat sausage, but you can substitute. Yeah, y'all, I got some, and I'm not even doing ground sausage. I got some sausage meatballs in the last giveaway box. So that's what I'm going to use. But I'll always show you all substitutes as I'm cooking. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. You can absolutely substitute. 
We got Wannabe in the house. She says, hi, hello. Tasha Arnett says, hello, Miss Maggie and class. All about the Mac. So good to see you say, hey, Maggie and class. Everybody saying hello. Okay, so let's get this counter cleaned off and let me show you all what came up on my um, A-L-E-X-A -E device. Y'all, these little robots, look, they're always listening, so might as well use them to your advantage. I think technology is a tool, and you know, the more you look at and the more you request, the more it's going to be served up to you. That can be a good thing, and that can be a bad thing. However, comma, because clearly I'm always into the snacks when I open my social media and my devices, it's always food related. So anyway, uh, you can also set your like preferences or whatever for what you see when it goes to sleep. So I'm getting recipe inspiration from everywhere. Hello, uh, Dino, thank you for being here. Everybody saying hello to each other. Geneva's in the house. Hello, Geneva Madison. All right, y'all, let's clean this up. We always start with clean counters for kitchen snacks. And um, we'll get our uniform on. Uh-oh, <laughs> I still got dishes to do, forgive me. So, yes, earlier today we did a cinnamon apple uh, pancake. Um, so shout out Team Sweet. Now we're going to be making something for Team Savory. And I'm going to try and make it my way. I, I did it my way. Okay, sorry. But you know what I say. Why be regular when you can be extra? Okay. So let us get our hands clean. Now let me get my uniform on. Thank you all for being here. I do enjoy cooking for you. It is a, it's a labor of love. It is a labor, but I love it. All right. Shout out to the Maggie merch because you will not find me on OnlyFans. However, you will always find me on OnlyPans, hashtag OnlyPans. If you want your Maggie merch, you can go to the website, teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. You'll find everything there. Uh, aprons are about $20. We have multiple sizes and multiple colors. Um, this is the khaki. I think this is the standard. So I will show it to you. You can get kid sizes. You can customize them for free put your name on it or whatever you would like. And this one has pockets. It's a really nice linen material. I love aprons. They're my souvenir when I'm traveling. All right, so you all can see this is the standard and uh, I may or may not do another little Maggie dance uh, trending audio. Got another email from YouTube, apparently that uh, uh, Rihanna if it's loving that you want, da 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 da. So I gotta come up with something for that. Hello, Roman. Y'all know. All right, keep it together, Maggie. We got Vonnie Young in the house saying hello, Maggie. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let me get my iPad. I have charged it since this morning because y'all know I forget. And let me show you all what came up in my feed. All right, so as always, I put the link in the description, the recipe inspiration. Let me just clean this off because y'all know I'm always cooking around here. All right. So y'all don't call me <laughs> janky. Um, so this is from Taste of Home. Taste of Home was actually, um, when I did the favorite chef competition, I think the winner it gets a spread in Taste of Home magazine, so you all can check that out. Thank you for getting me to the quarter final, so I appreciate you so much. But uh, this is a Taste of Home recipe, and I put the link in the description. All right. But y'all know we always eat with our eyes first. That's so funny to me. It's like, I designed it. Okay, I didn't design it. I hired somebody. Y'all know I'm not artistic. You have told me. But every time I see that, I'm like... It looks just like me. So lame. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let's go to um, Google, I think is where I saved it. All right. 
Let's see here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why am I not online? All right, let's see. And I also printed out the recipe online. It's creamy sausage mushroom rigatoni. Taste of home. Let's see. Okay. Y'all, I saw this and I was like, ooh, ah, I like it. Oh, yeah. That's what I do, y'all. I look at recipes that we all want to eat greedy. And then I see, can I make it sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free? And that's why I'm your substitute teacher, because I have to eat, well, I'm supposed to eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So I cook with sugar substitutes, dairy substitutes, and gluten substitutes. Hello, Six Mike. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So let's see if we can play this video. Uh, how can I make it full screen? All right. And let's see if I can move it back for y'all. I don't think this one has any words, just music. All right, so we're going to get some sausage and put it in a pan. I have meatballs, but it'll be all right. So you're going to cook it like brown ground meat, or you could do ground soft turkey sausage. That's a substitute. Then you drain it, then you're going to put some butter in the pan. And then we're gonna put some mushrooms and some garlic in there. Put some salt, some pepper, and then cook those down. Put the top on them and let them brown. So we're gonna go a little bit low and slow, take our time. I wish this was just a portion for one, but this would be a great family meal or something to eat leftovers on. So when you put the top on them, you're actually steaming the mushrooms, keeping that heat in and they'll actually cook uh, cook down faster for you. And we're going to add some heavy cream. I'm using coconut cream. I'll show you all the substitute that I'm using. If you can have dairy, please use heavy whipping cream and bring it to a boil. Mm -hmm. And we need to cook it like eight to 10 more minutes. Oh my word. Then you're going to put the sausage back in there. It's meatballs for me. And we're going to make it like a gravy sauce. I would do this with a marinara, but they already had some rigatoni, which is that uh, pasta that's like the little tubes. Then you put that gravy pasta on top of all of that with the mushrooms and the cream. And then add a garlic, add a garnish of the fresh parsley. And that is your meal. So y'all know I'm going to magnify it. Christina says, hi, beautiful. Thank you so much for the compliment. All right, let's see. T-Mobile for business plans. No. Now premium travel benefits valued at nearly let's see if we can go back. All right, I need to just get used to holding these up because y'all on Instagram and TikTok can't see. Hello, Dietrich. Let me play it one more time, then I'm going to set it down. All right, let's see here. Oh, now it's going to make me watch an ad to watch it again. All right, so a couple substitutes. Uh, again, you can use turkey sausage if you don't uh, want or eat uh, pork sausage, which is totally fine. You can really do this with any meat. Um, so we're going to make it gluten-free because we're not going to use pasta. So I'll show you all what I'm doing. And then dairy-free because we're not going to use heavy whipping cream. Ooh, Christina says, my fiance surprised me with a new rotisserie and grill air fryer. I love that. I am that home cook. I love kitchen gifts. Yes, yes, yes. All right, y'all. So let me play it one more time for the people in the back. And I'm just going to turn the sound down because it's just music and I don't want to strike. All right, so this is what we're making. Hopefully you all can see creamy sausage mushroom rigatoni. The recipe is on Taste of Home, and I did print it out as well. So let's flip. All right, so we're gonna get a pan. I know it's got a glare. We're gonna put some sausage. This could be the ground meat of your choice, okay? So pork sausage, turkey sausage, whatever you like. Then we'll drain that off. Maybe we will for the meatballs. Then we're gonna butter a pan. We're gonna put some sliced mushrooms in there. So I just ordered some mushrooms. We'll see if they're sliced. Some minced garlic, some salt, some pepper. And then we're gonna cook those mushrooms down. You could actually make this, if you wanted to make the vegetarian version, you could omit the sausage. You won't have that meat flavor, obviously, but you could do like a mushroom, a mushroom cream sauce. 
excuse me, you could do impossible meat if you all like those vegan meat crumbles. Shout out to the vegans. We love you too. Um, then we're going to cook those mushrooms down. Um, a lot of vegetarians and vegans love mushrooms as a meat substitute because they have that that chew, that texture that you like. Then she puts in heavy whipping cream. Uh, I'm gonna use the substitute, but if you can have dairy, put that dairy heavy whipping cream in there and then cook it down. It's gonna thicken up. And then after it boils and cooks down, you're gonna add your meat back in there. So if you all like a savory, gravy, meaty, mushroomy, heavy sauce, <laughs> Tonight is your night, and then you can put it over pasta. You could probably also put this over rice. You could probably serve it over, I don't know, baked potato or something like that. And then garnish it with, um, what is that? Parsley. All right. So that is what we are making tonight. All right. So I printed out the recipe. Now let me just go back here and close the video. Uh, let's see if I can go to my photos and just leave it up there. I wish I could find a reel where it would just stay. Okay, there we are. So that is the goal. That's what we're trying to make. But again, I'm not going to do it on pasta because I love gluten, but gluten doesn't love me back. So again, this is tasteofhome.com. I did put the link. Uh-oh, there it is. Hard to see in the description, tasteofhome.com. All right, so what do we need? So it calls for one package of rigatoni. I'm not using rigatoni. Uh, Dap says you have a lot to offer. Uh, thank you. Raise my frequency. I'm old, y'all. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Tell me in language that a 47-year-old would know. I don't understand this, y'all. Low vibrations, high vibrations, frequency. Like, I'm old, all right? Just what does that mean? If it's a compliment, thank you. <laughs> all right. One package of rigatoni. If you all can have pasta, you could use the pasta of your choice. You could also do a corkscrew pasta would be good. I learned when I went to Italy last year, no, two years ago. No, last year was Italy. This summer was Greece. There's hundreds of different varieties of pasta and they actually are local to the different regions in Italy or Italy. And the pasta shape is made for the type of sauce that it's served with. Hello, BTB, uh, that it's served with. So if it's like a heavy, creamy sauce like this one is, then you want that um, like rigatoni or, you know, maybe like a I don't know, like the corkscrew or the, or is it orecchetti, the one that's got like the little nooks and crannies so that sauce and stuff can get up in there. As opposed to, hello, you Janetta, as opposed to like an angel hair pasta that's better with like a scampi or like a light garlic butter sauce, all right? So when you're using, like when you're making like a heavy meaty sauce, the pasta should complement it. You would not serve this type of savory pasta with an angel hair, all right? Phyllis is here. She says, creamy sausage mushroom. Lord have mercy. I know, right? Exactly. So let me show y'all what I'm going to be using. So I placed a grocery order. This came from Publix. So these are zucchini veggie spirals. You can get them frozen or you can get them fresh. I ordered these fresh. I love these as a pasta substitute. It's literally just zucchini put on a spiral. If you get them frozen, it's fine. It's just that you're going to need to either thaw out and drain out the water or cook it off, all right? Because there's going to be a lot of water on it. But with the fresh one, literally, we're just going to put this in the pan and I don't even need to cook it down because I still like it to have a little bit of al dente, like texture to it, all right? So that's gonna be my substitute for the pasta. Hello, D-Ray. Ah, Lisa says the pasta info is so interesting. Yes, absolutely. And y'all, I'm sorry. I eat, I eat everything when I travel, clearly. But um, over there, you know, just in other countries, like when you eat the local food the way it was intended to be, um, Hmm. You really, I don't know, it's better you get an appreciation for it. When I was in Greece this summer, you all know I met up with one of our scholars, Anastasia, um, and she took me around Athens and I told her, I said, you know, I never really liked Greek food here in America. And she was like, of course, because it's not real Greek food. And I was like, oh, 
and you know, she just told me a story of how, you know, and I'm an immigrant, but immigrants for, you know, whatever reason they end up where they end up, they do the best with what they can. So they'll take the local produce and they'll take whatever's available to them and try to recreate something that reminds them of home. So when you have a gyro, not a gyro, a gyro, when you have one of those that's got, she was like, what is this lettuce in the gyro? That's just what was available to them. Over there, you eat it and it's savory and it's oh, it's so good. But that's one of the reasons why I love traveling. So I love taking you all with me. We will learn and travel the world together. All right. So uh, lecture mode off. If there's a type of cuisine that you don't think you like, try the authentic way. If you can get as close to the source as possible and then decide if you like it. Linda says, this sounds so good with incoming fall weather. I know. Shout out to comfort food. All right. So this is my rigatoni substitute. All right. So a pound of bulk Italian sausage. So you can get Italian sausage kind of like ground meat. Um, I got something I'm going to use. All right. So I got these in the giveaway box. It says ready to cook. So these are seasoned meatballs. Is it beef? I don't even know. Okay, these are beef, so I'm not even doing um, pork, but I have these from Publix and you can see they're already kind of seasoned. So I'm going to cook these in the skillet and brown these and kind of cook them down as my meat substitute since it's got that flavor for your ear. All right, so let me just put this on the paper towel since it is raw meat. And then we need butter. If you can have regular butter, have some for me. Y'all know I'm gonna be using the plant butter. That's just what I'm using because it's dairy free. But if you can have Lando Lakes, by all means, all right? So this is what I'm gonna saute my mushrooms in. Hello, Willie. Thank you for being here. And then it says a pound of fresh mushrooms. So I did order some fresh mushrooms. In a pinch, you can also get the ones in the can, but we have some sliced baby Bellas now. Oh my God, I'm so happy. This is um, a half a pound. A pound is 16 ounces and we only have eight, which is great because y'all, it's just me. <sighs> and I just hate to waste food. So we're gonna take everything down in the recipe by half. So here's your cooking hack. If you're single or just cooking for yourself or just cooking for a couple, you can scale up or scale down any recipe. What I do is I look at all of my ingredients portions and then I find the smallest thing that I have. So I'm looking here. It says a pat one, 16 ounces of rigatoni. This is 10, mm, a little bit under. A pound of sausage. This is 1.18 pounds, uh, a little bit over. Two teaspoons of butter. We got plenty of butter, but it says a pound of mushroom and I only have a half a pound of mushroom. So I can't make the full recipe, but I can make the half recipe, all right? So that means since I have half of one ingredient, I need to half of all ingredients so that I stay at the right consistency. I hope that made sense, all right? And then two garlic cloves minced. So I only need one, but I'll grab a couple of them, all right? I'm gonna get some fresh. Oh dear, these are sounding kind of crunchy. I hope they're still good. If not, we have a substitute. This is this is a bulb of garlic and the little nubbies in there are the cloves. So we'll see if we can get one out that's not <laughs> dried all to bits. Look, y'all know those cooking shows where everything is fresh and vibrant and uh, prepared ahead of time? This is not that. <laughs> We work with what we have. Sometimes I got it and sometimes I don't. So if this garlic doesn't work, we do have a couple options. All right, you can also buy garlic in the grocery store. You can buy it in these little cloves or you can buy it minced. I think it's in water. It's good. Of course, fresh is best. I love giving you all fresh, but you can buy the jarred and then you can also buy the garlic paste. So you can squeeze this into your stews and whatnot. This is an option too. You can find this in the produce aisle. All right. So just giving you all some suggestions if you don't have the actual ingredients. I know we got home cookers of all different levels, 
I am the daughter of a retired home science teacher. I've been cooking since 1842. So I try to do everything from scratch for you all, but make uh, adjustments where you need to. Hello, Jay. Hello, Obeni. Hello, Don Gardner. And hello, Rodimus. Thank you all so much for being here. Keely says, makes perfect sense. What did I say? I don't even know. Let me go back. Life of Cash is here. It says, Publix, Baby Bella, your favorite mushrooms. And they were on sale. That's why we got them tonight. So I'm glad we're making your favorite. So these are Baby Portobello Mushrooms. Publix is a grocery store here in the South. Shout out to On Sale. Life of Cash says, this dish looks so good. All right, Maggie. Well, thank you. We haven't uh, started yet. I'll see if I can play the um, video again. It just... Y'all know how they make you do the ads and whatnot. I'm not trying to do that. So we'll see if we can let it play here uh, on, on silent. All right. So Christina says, I'm so excited. Finally got an air fryer. This is wonderful. Y'all know I love the air fryer. The air fryer is basically an oven with a fan. So it cooks faster because you don't have all that space. It's tabletop and it cooks crispier because it blows the hot air around the food. All right, so this is what we're making y'all with my substitutions. Oh, you just need a small table for it. You don't have room on the kitchen counters. Look, people have complained about my counters. I understand, I'm sure your kitchen is spotless. However, this is my kitchen, okay? I got a lot of counters here, so I'm blessed. Um, but if you don't, you can store your appliances away and then just take it out when you use it. Like my rice cooker and stuff like that is under the cabinets, but if you're gonna use it all the time, it's great for cooking for one or two people. Um, then yeah, find something you don't use as much and swap it out with the air fryer. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was supposed to be playing this for y'all. <laughs> there we go. Um, <sighs> Condemn says the pearls and the pasta. I try, y'all. Sometimes I got it together, sometimes I don't. But I always try to represent you all well and represent myself well. Shout out to the finishing school ladies if you want to refine. Men, if you want to send your ladies to refinement, Lucy and I have put together the finishing school for the modern woman. I have a new link for everything. Uh oh, wrong one. I have a new link for everything you all, the finishing school for the modern woman. All of my um, latest information, just go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. I'm working on my, okay, I'm not working on it. I have somebody working on the Maggie, the substitute teacher.com website. So if you go there now, it's going to show like under construction. We're not trying to do that, but I put my, uh, all of my stuff on teachable moments with Maggie.com. You can check out all of our new offerings. So our flagship course is the finishing school. That's a privately taught eight week course. Uh, we're currently uh, in session and next session will start in January. If you ladies would like to tr transform from being a female, don't say that, to a lady, uh, we would love to teach you. We also have a few things coming up on Saturday, October 28th. We have a course, uh, enrollment is open. If you wanna be taught by a professional ballroom dancer how to walk like a lady, how to have feminine gestures, Y'all know that's a struggle for me. Sarah is going to be teaching us. Enrollment is open. And I have a discount code for you all. If any ladies would like to take that master class, it is a the same discount code. It is uh, going to be taught Saturday, October 28th. And then the next day, Sunday, October 29th, if you want more, Lucy and I are going to be teaching a class on hosting. If you get any anxiety about having company over for the holidays or any time of year, we're going to be teaching a one day uh, mini course on hosting. All of this, uh, if you enroll, you can use the discount code going across the bottom and um, it will be taught live and recorded and you will have lifetime access. So a lot of good stuff going on. And then lastly, in November, we have the Elegance Bootcamp, which is free for everyone that will be streamed here on YouTube. We are going to be teaching from Woman of Elegance. That's Vivian and her book. It's a 30 day, November 1 through November 30. Uh, 30 minutes uh, on becoming more elegant, if that's something you're interested in. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all. All right. What else do we have here? Gillis is laughing. Life of cash. 
Christina is not here for the mushrooms. Look, I always say if you don't like any ingredient substitute. So on this recipe, you could wilt down some spinach if you don't like mushrooms. You could also do some bell pepper or whatever kind of pepper you like, or maybe some zucchini. I'm doing zucchini noodles. You could omit it all together and just do the meat and the sauce because you're going to be tossing it in zucchini anyway. Christina says it's back. What's back? Mr. Ha Mr. I don't have is here. Okay, so we got our garlic. We need salt, pepper. So we'll grab that. You should have that. Heavy whipping cream and parsley as optional. But we want the we want the garnish. All right. So let's see. Um, I know I need this pepper. I'm missing my salt. You should always keep them together. Ladies, that is your unsolicited etiquette, your dining etiquette from our dining module in the finishing school. Whenever you dine, if anyone ever asks for salt, you pass salt and pepper. If they ask for pepper, you pass salt and pepper. They always stay together. All right. Pass them counterclockwise, which is to your right. Never stand up and lean over the table. That's poor etiquette. Okay, heavy whipping cream. Giving you all some substitutes. If you can have dairy, use a regular heavy whipping cream. This is what I'm going to be using. Silk makes a dairy-free heavy whipping cream. This is made from coconut cream, and it doesn't have that very heavy coconut flavor like some uh, coconut milks do. I don't mind it, but especially when you're cooking something savory like this, unless it's Thai food, you may not want a very forward coconut flavor. All right. Another substitute. If you can't find the silk, Country Croc also has this one. This is a plant cream, heavy whipping cream alternative. I prefer the silk, but I just love to give you all substitutes. All right. You can find that in your grocery store. And then lastly, it says minced parsley as optional. Y'all know me and my sad um, herbs. Auntie Jenny's always getting on me to grow my own stuff. It's probably not going to happen, y'all. But I do have some diced. Notice how we've chopped this up. So I'll keep this off to the side. And when we're done, we will be garnishing our food with the parsley. All right. So we have everything. We are ready to get started. Our mushrooms are already sliced. So we're just going to give those a rinse. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started on browning the meatballs because I want those to cook thoroughly since it's, well, it's not pork, but either way, we'll get those to cook thoroughly. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do two things at once. We'll get started on the meatballs and then we'll start mincing the garlic and whatnot. Hello, respect. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. All right. So let's move some stuff out of the way and get the cooktop. Hope everybody's doing well. Kayla says parsley in life should be optional. You're not here for parsley. I don't love it either, y'all. It's beautiful as a garnish. The green just pops over anything, especially this kind of gravy-esque type of meal. Um, I don't like it. It kind of tastes like grass by itself, but with like butter and garlic, it comes alive. Kayla says you have some ingredient haters here. Maggie, I know. And I just have some haters here. Look, I don't know what to tell y'all. Don't eat it. I, I don't know what to say. Me with the parsley hating. And uh, I think it was um, Christina with the mushroom hating. Look, I am a boy mom with two kids. One that don't like tomatoes. One that don't like spicy. I don't know what to tell you. Look, this is what I'm making it. Have it your way, Burger King. <laughs> okay. Oh. Y'all knew how we grew. Y'all knew how we grew up. You get what you get, and you don't pitch a fit. Now, somebody tell Nana that. Go over there. It's a cornucopia of food for the kids. Oh, you don't want this? Do you want macaroni? Oh, you don't want that? Do you want fufu and soup? Oh, you don't. And I'm like, who is that lady? Y'all know we just had to sit down and <laughs> be quiet. Focus, Maggie. All right, let's get these uh, meatballs cooking. Yes, I use my oven for storage. If you don't, 
I don't know what to say. All right. I keep the nice pots in there. And yes, this is the nice one. The struggle pots are for the kids. I've taught both of them how to cook. All right. So we're going to get a big skillet here and we'll put a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm sure there's going to be a little oil that comes down from the meatballs, but I want to go ahead and get those started. It could be avocado oil. It could be vegetable oil. It could be coconut oil. It could be no oil. All right. So we're just going to put a little drizzle in there. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, y'all know me and my struggle <clears throat> cooking stream. All right, we're gonna let this kind of heat up. You know it's getting hot when uh, it starts to move. Let me get some water and put some Alcazon drops in it. Seriously, y'all, I'm not just making it up. All right, so while we're waiting on this to heat up, um, Shout out to the Walmart water. I just got some strawberry here. I got lots of different flavors. This is the clear American, zero sugar, calories, caffeine, all of that. So if you're a soda drinker, this could be a good substitute for you. I'll keep this stuff in view, so. I don't know why, it just looks nice. Make it, make it look like I, I know what I'm doing. All right, so it's starting to move, but let's get a glass. So we're going to put the sparkling water in here and then shout out to AlphaZone for providing so much great product. Y'all know I've been rocking with AlphaZone since the beginning. My metabolic specialist said drink more alkaline water. Okay, you can buy it. I think it's heavy and it's expensive. I'm not doing that. So you can make your own. <laughs> Where did I put it? Oh dear. Did I put it in the car? All right, I have one in the car, y'all. Let me just grab it since I popped it up. Three drops it's clear it's odorless it's tasteless you can put this in any beverage and it doesn't change the taste and it turns it into an alkaline beverage water coffee tea juice whatever you drink for me it makes I stay more hydrated and uh, my test results are better all right so this is nice and hot we're gonna go ahead and put these mushrooms I'm sorry meatballs in here So reminding myself, we're doing a half portion. WB says um, it's very expensive. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you can do it, y'all know, please have it your way. You have some Alcazone, wonderful. And your discount code is Maggie, gets you 10% off. Hello, sweet potato pie and Charles. All right, so reminding myself, we're doing a half portion. So, I mean, I wouldn't eat nine meatballs anyway. Would y'all, how many meatballs would y'all eat? Greedy. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them all even though I won't eat them all, okay? So these came from Publix. So I'm gonna put them down and let them sit so they can get a nice little crust. Shout out to Team Texture. So the stove is on a medium, I would say medium. It's just on medium. In order to get a good sear, you want kind of a medium high heat a little i'm gonna cook all of them i know if i'm crowding it we'll be all right how does it why does it keep doing that all right let me clean my hands all right we're gonna let those brown Lisa says it's all in fun. You love this group? Absolutely. Are you a hater too? Did I miss one? Oh, okay. 
Lisa doesn't like the sausage. Christina don't like mushrooms. Killis don't like the um, parsley. So y'all get air sandwiches for dinner. <laughs> All right. Nakota says mushrooms are for the mature pellet. I like them. It is all in fun. Absolutely. Y'all know, even if y'all were serious, it don't make me nothing. I am fine. Y'all love it here? I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. And we're going to brown all sides of the meatball. All right. So we're going to do like a few minutes on this side and then turn them over. And then maybe, you know, all the sides if we can. While this is doing its thing, I'm gonna rinse off some mushrooms that y'all don't like. I know, WB likes mushrooms. I'm gonna listen to them. Look, what I said, y'all heard me the first time. Mm -mm. No. Nate says, I can eat mushrooms as a meal. She's loving them. Marie Marie is in the house. All right, and ladies, another unsolicited tip. If you get lipstick on a glass, drink from the same spot. It's poor etiquette to expose people to your makeup, okay? So keep it elegant. All right, so I'm starting to smell the meatballs. Mom said cook with all of your senses. Sight, sound, listen. Oh, that's sound. Y'all know what it is. There's five of them, okay? You figure it out. Look at your food. Don't just set it and forget it. If it starts to get brown, move it around. I'm rhyming. I didn't mean to. Listen to it, okay? When the popcorn stops popping, take it off the heat. Taste it as long as it's not raw. Um, touch it. See if you like the texture. If it's the doneness that you want or the egg's still kind of jiggly. Smell it. Listen to that brown. Listen to the brown. All right, so let's go in here and take a look. So we have a nice little sear. I'm just gonna turn it over in the same spot. So a sear is when you leave it and you get that nice little crust on it. So it's got a nice little texture. I'm getting excited. I don't care how tired I am. When I come in here and stuff starts cooking, y'all know how you do the happy dance. Like, oh yeah, something good is coming. One of these says, what is that again? I'm not sure. Please uh, clarify. We got a lot going on. So if you put it on a hot pan, medium, and let it sit for a few minutes, you'll get that. Ah, it's popping me. Y'all like that close up, don't you? I know you like it. Okay, focus, Maggie. Sabrina's here, but y'all, we're about to have mushroom wars. You love mushrooms. You're getting ready to make homemade mushroom patties. I've never heard of that. What are mushroom patties? Sounds good. Sounds vegetable-tarian. Works for me. So I'm gonna let it brown on all four sides. Then once we get that nice little crust, I'll put the top on it. When we put the top on it, then it'll steam. But if we put the top on it first, it'll just be kind of like gray. And we want that nice little texture. Y'all know you like it crusty. <laughs> so lame. Ah. Christina says, you have a portobello mushroom recipe for the air fryer. Yes, mushrooms. For those of y'all that don't not like it, you know what I mean. You can do um, stuffed mushrooms. We've done that before. Sure, spam me with the recipes. We've also done mushrooms as a pizza, meaning take the mushroom bowl, turn it upside down, pop off the stem, and scrape out the little fins in the middle. I know. And then use that as your crust. So put your sauce, put your little pepperonis and cheese. All right, let's see how we're looking now. I know we got people coming in. Let me see if I can repeat this for y'all. I hate that it doesn't, you know, loop. All right, not as much. Let's go a little bit longer. Check one, we'll give it a couple more minutes. All right, 
I think we'll do that. We'll brown these. I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. I always forget. We got the watch it supreme in the house coming in saying team ingredients in full effect. All right. Watch it supreme. We've had the mushroom wars. We've had the parsley wars. We have had the sausage wars. Oh, Lisa, you can use something like this. Turkey sausage crumbles or the turkey sausage roll. You could do that because you all will see in the recipe they're using sausage. So if you don't eat sausage, those are some substitutes for you. All right. I think we have a nice little crust on here now. I'm going to go on the side. Let's stand it up if we can. Woo, it's popping me. All right, I'm going to try and stand it up along the side. It might not work. I'm going to bring them in towards the middle. You would do the same thing if you had a thick cut of steak, um, like a filet, or anything with a nice little hefty side. You want to get that nice browning on all sides. So that's why I'm kind of turning it. Leave them up against each other so they can kind of brown. Marie Marie is here for team mushrooms. Lisa says, oh, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Wanna be says team greedy, thank you. <laughs> Christina says, spend the time with you and I know y'all. I'm not good at doing multiple things at once and talking to y'all. So I just want to get these nice and crusty. Then we'll lower the temperature and put the top on them. Okay, Sabrina's mushroom patties are made of mushrooms. Miss your mushrooms, which is a fine chop in the food processor or that and season them how you like, add breadcrumbs, eggs, and patty out and gently fry. Could somebody please inbox me that recipe? We need to try that. I've never made mushroom patties before. I would make that. All right, so we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go over to the other side. Nice and crusty. If you like your meat balls to be like soft and smooth, skip this step. But even if you're gonna smother them in sauce, if you take the time to sear them before you smother them in sauce, when you bite down into that sauce, y'all, you'll get that little crusty texture. It's the little things. And these are beef meatballs. You can do the same with pork, turkey. Ooh, it's popping me. I'm going to stand it up next to your brother. Shout out to the Smash Burgers. It's hard to see. There's a lot that I don't do right or don't do well. But when I nail a meal, y'all can call me the African Martha Stewart. <laughs> Hello, uh, Oscar Body. Thank you for being here. All right, I think we're good once we get a good breath. Oh, got me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Turn it down, y'all. Y'all need to feel some of that. It's giving it to me. Pop me. Looks good. Uh, top Preppy, my first time seeing you here. Welcome. So this was just a little bit of oil. Honestly, you probably didn't even need any oil since this is beef. The leaner the meat, the more oil. Not a lot, but the more likely you will need oil. So if you were doing chicken or turkey meatballs, a little bit of olive oil. If you're doing pork or beef, it'll draw out enough. All right, so I think we're good. Let me just get another sip. All right. Okay, yeah. So we got 
brown on just about all sides. So now I'm gonna turn it down and put the top on it. Ooh. Whether you like a red sauce, maybe not a, well, this will be kind of like a white sauce. But once we got that nice little sear on there, I'm gonna temperature check it. I don't think it's done. But I'm going to turn the fire down and just check it. Beef, ground beef, you could do medium. But let's just check. Um, Alexa, what temperature is ground beef done? Alexa, what's the proper temperature for beef? At least 145. So let's see, we might be done. So we got Fahrenheit. Let's go into, go inside. 140, oh, y'all can't see that. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm just going to put them not directly on a paper towel. I'm going to put them on a little rack just so they keep their crispiness. Now, I'm doing it this way because this is what I had. Again, you um, the recipe called for ground beef, but I'm just taking these out so that y'all see the crispy bits we seared on there. My goodness. And it's literally just taking time. Stand over it. Don't set it and forget it. Once you get the brown color that you like, move to the other side, all right? So these will stay. I'll probably put the little dome over top of them so they stay warm. All right, so everybody can see. Shout out to Brandon L. Jett who gifted us the melting dome. Now, is it in the dishwasher? Yeah. So this is a melting dome. Will melt cheese or keep your food warm? All right. So I'm just gonna put this on your um, <laughs> on your meatballs. All right. Not all the way covered. And I'm just going to just put a paper towel in here to get up some of this oil. I know I was supposed to be mincing the garlic, but I just didn't want to. We'll use the same pot. Some people probably wouldn't, you know, um, wipe this up, but I'm going to just to keep it a little bit light on oil. We got all that flavor in the meatballs still. Christina says, looks good. Yeah, that mushroom patty sounds good. Somebody copy that and inbox it to me because I will forget. I'm loving these recipes that we're doing, like the banana stuff with ingredients that usually go bad or we would toss. I'm going to eat that. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we got to mince one clove of garlic since we're doing a half recipe. And you know what? Yeah. Let me watch the video one more time because I think we're ready. But I still need the garlic if, if this is not destroyed. I think we're ready to put the mushroom in there. Uh-oh. Oh, I did I print out the recipe. Here it is. Cook the sausage over medium heat four to six minutes until no longer pink, breaking into crumbles, drain and remove sausage from pan. So we did that with our beef. 
Our beef mushrooms are over here. In the same skillet, heat butter over medium heat. Add mushrooms, garlic, salt, and pepper, and cover, cook for four minutes. Okay, so let's start with the mushrooms because I can do two things at once. That's what I say. Oh, Sabrina, thank you for sending it to me. We'll make that in a stream. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and rinse off our mushrooms really quick. Some people don't. Some people just dry them off. Look, I am not the food police. Do what works for you. But we're going to use all of the mushrooms, okay? A half pound. The recipe calls for a full pound, but that's what we got, so we're going to half everything. Oh, y'all, it smells so good in here. All right. So I'm just gonna give these a quick little rinse since they're already sliced. One last step, one last step we have to do. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get these mushrooms cooking because the mushrooms are gonna cook down while I do the garlic. Um, two teaspoons of butter, so not much at all. So let me go ahead and put this in here. Y'all might not be able to see everything, but I need room for the, and I'm gonna turn it down to medium low. Two teaspoons of butter. I still have some butter out, so I'm just gonna use the teaspoon measure. I'm using plant butter again just to keep it dairy free. If you can have Kerrygold or Land Lakes, please have some for me, all right? Ooh, this got harder than I thought. All right. Two teaspoons of butter. We'll let that melt down. We rinse off these mushrooms. I'm just gonna try and pat them dry a little bit so when we put them in here, they don't um, splatter. Water and oil do not mix. It'll pop you pretty bad. So especially whenever you want to fry anything, make sure it's as dry as possible. That's why I'm always, one of the reasons why I'm always patting down our protein. All right. So just get that excess moisture off of here. All right. Who do we have here? We have Coco. Hello, Ebony Speaks. Moi Destiny. Hello, Daryl. Hello, Chris X. Thank you all so much for being here. All right. Put all the mushroom in, and let me see if I can get into one clove of garlic really quickly. While that's doing its thing, it says mushrooms, garlic, salt, and pepper. So I need to put all of it together. Okay, this is looking pretty sad. I'm embarrassed. Network coming in. We got a stream sponsor. Thank you so much. I'm going to get you up on the board in just a moment. My garlic is looking janky, but I found a nice bulb. I need to dice it really quick and put it in here with salt and pepper. The stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest cash at PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold coins. I'm just glad that you're here. Uh oh. All right. So we got a piece of garlic. I'm gonna try and chop it up. So it can all cook together. The recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, but remember we're halving everything because I only had half a pound of mushroom. Just chopping up the garlic fine. Oh, y'all can't see. So you don't get a big old bite of garlic. Let me turn the stove down. If you ever need to, you know, step away. Mom says you don't start cooking until you're ready to follow through. But if you do, just turn, turn it down. Sorry, y'all, I'm moving fast. That was one clove of garlic that we just diced up. So it's gonna cook with the mushroom, give it that nice garlicky flavor. And just salt and pepper. How much salt? Half teaspoon of salt. All right, so this is a teaspoon. Let's get a half of this. Um, I'm just gonna do 
regular salt. If you have a special salt that you use, by all means. All right. So salt those and then quarter teaspoon pepper. We're just going to grind it. We're just going to grind it. Season to taste. Get in there. We're going to stir and let that cook. All right. So mushrooms, butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. It smells amazing already. All right, let me get real bravado up on the board. We'll let those sweat for a little bit and then put the top on them. All right. Hello, Feta Kings, and hello, RS. Uh, shout out to Tallahassee Silver Fox, says I'm a good cook. Thank you for the compliment. I don't really think I'm that good, but I appreciate it. I just try. Let me get real bravado up on the board. up here and if you all want to know how i got monetized so quickly in 90 days i put everything that i do in my course you all can check it out link is in the um the the description but also teachable moments with maggie.com that's where everything is all right and i got a coupon code for the course five dollars thank you I appreciate it. Then find five dollars in your laundry. So thank you very much. All right. So our mushrooms are cooking down. Looking good. Smelling incredible. Again, if you want the vegetarian version, omit the sausage if you want to. <laughs> All right. Um, we did beef um, meatballs. They're over there in the back. So we got this going on. Cook covered for four minutes. I didn't put the top on it. So we're gonna let that do its thing. All right, so we wanna cook it for four minutes, stirring occasionally. <laughs> That's what I was tossing. And then um, uncover, cook and stir for two to three minutes or until mushrooms are tender and liquid is evaporated. That's good to know. You want to get the liquid out of there. You want the steam to cook them, but you don't want them to stay soggy. All right. Because we're going to put some cream in there. All right. So let me clean up. Mom says clean as you go. All right. So we did this. Got our meatballs. Let's go give our meatballs a check. And I want to taste one. Greedy. Mushrooms, garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to give this a taste too. So I already started with portobello mushrooms. So mine were already kind of brown to start, which is wonderful. But now they're browning nicely. And I want that liquid to come up. So I'm going to turn up the heat and take the top off because mine are already softened. That water is coming down. We want that water to come up off of them. All right, that's kind of what we're going for. In the meantime, I feel like I need to taste one of these for research purposes. I'm not eating all of them. I just cooked all of them. You all can see we have a nice little sear. Let's get in there. We temperature checked it. I'm imagining a red sauce. I'm imagining an Alfredo. I'm imagining a mushroom sauce. Excellent. Those were already seasoned when we bought them. Okay, when they were give, given to me. All right. So that liquid is coming out. We're just going to let it go a couple more minutes. Looking good. And I'll give one of these a taste. Oh, yeah. For our mushroom non-lovers, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. 
savory, salty, mushroomy. I love it. All right, y'all, our liquid is coming out, so that's good. So once it's not really pooling in the bottom, I think we're ready to add our heavy whipping cream. That's the key, y'all, taste as you go. As long as it's not raw, as long as the ingredients taste good, then the combination will taste amazing. If it wasn't salted well, salt it now. Hello, Nicholas, and hello, Rabichi. Okay, so now, Excuse me, step number four, stirring cream and bring to a boil. How much cream? Two cups of heavy whipping cream, but we are not doing that because we're doing a half of a recipe. So to keep it dairy free, I'm using the silk. This is two cups because the cup is eight ounces. Yes. So this is 16. So let me measure out half. Oh, this is looking really good, y'all. On a steak, on a burger. You love them nice brown mushrooms? Absolutely. Ah! All right, so we're going to smother these in a cream sauce, all right? So we have our one cup measure. Shout out to my iPhone, giving y'all that over camera view that you love. Again, I am not a professional. All right. So we're going to pour in the cream. Let me just read it one more time. Stir in the cream and bring to a boil. So you all can see the heavy whipping cream made from coconut milk. Get in there with that brown and that butter. All right, so let's stir it around. Oh, it's already at a boil. Time for the percolator. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. <laughs> okay, sorry, y'all. Focus, Maggie. All right, let's get that stirred up a little bit. All right, bring to a boil, reduce the heat, and cook uncovered eight to 10 minutes until slightly thickened. All right, so we're gonna cook it uncovered so it can draw off some of that liquid, all right? So we want it creamy, but we don't want it soupy. So you all see what's happening. I'm gonna taste it again. We got Sarah says, I just stopped in to say you are so cute and you need your own show. I have to go, but see you. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Let me know where to go. Hello, Michael, and hello, Ben Perez. We do have a show. It's called Struggle Cooking Classes with Maggie, uh, but I appreciate the compliments, you all. This is uh, my happy place, believe me. All right. So we're, oh, y'all, it smells so good. And I don't mind the coconutiness, if that's a word. Um, I love it. Okay, y'all can't see. There you go. All right, so... Let's start cleaning around because we just want to get this sauce to thicken up. And I'm just going to move it around a little bit so it doesn't burn. It's going to cover those mushrooms with creamy goodness. Shout out to the vegans. We're vegan so far. We're vegan except for the meatball. All right. So I try to make all of the scholars happy. All right. So let's let that do its thing. Let me clean up a little bit. Found an extra mushroom. I just hate to waste, y'all. I'm old. All right, so we are at this step. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. It almost reminds me, you know, like of a Thai curry that's got that coconut. Like if y'all can eat rice, putting this over a rice or something. If we don't have any rice haters in the house. Looks so yummy. All right. So excited, smells so good. Cool. 
Christina says, I was just going to say, it looks kind of like a curry. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So here are our options. I'll give you all a choice. Hello, Ode, and hello, Micelle. I'm trying, y'all. And hello, Easy. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we're letting this cook down. So we got the parsley garnish ready to go. We'll put half of the meatballs in here and we'll keep half out. You could do like a red sauce or something because we're doing a half portion recipe. I'm just keeping this moving and I can tell already it's getting thicker than when we just poured it in there. Let it keep cooking for a little more, a few more minutes. All right, so in this recipe, they put it over a rigatoni, which is a, a tube pasta, so that cream sauce can get stuck up in the um, corners, conas. Um, so this is where we are. So y'all know I'm using the zucchini. Now we could take the zucchini and put it all in here and make like one big like oompa loompa. Or I could get another, um, how do you say? I could get another pot. I think that's what I'll do. And put the um, zucchini in there. Hello, Curvy Girl Beth. Oh my gosh, so good to see you. Y'all check out Curvy Girl Beth. I met her in LA at the YouTube uh, summer party. She's got a fashion and lifestyle channel. I think she does some recipes too. All right, y'all, so this is thickened up. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the meatballs in here. We'll give this a taste. I'm gonna get another skillet and I'm just gonna lightly like warm up the zucchini. If we wanted to, we could take all of this and put it in the sauce and we could just cook it up as one big oompa loompa is what I'm calling it. But I do like the color and the contrast of having, oh, can't see, the pasta, pasta, and then the sauce, all right? So let's give this a taste. Oh yeah. Gotta have tasting soon. All right, so this is heavy whipping cream, but dairy free. Garlic, mushrooms, salt, pepper, and plant-based butter. So far vegan. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down because it's starting to get a little sticky. We're gonna put the mushrooms in here. Nate says pour it on the top, agreed. Oh, why isn't this charging? Sorry, TikTok. Y'all don't stop. Okay. Whew. All right. So y'all remember we seared our mushrooms. I know I bit off of this one, so we won't put that in there. Mm. All right. All right. I could put all of them in there. Now again, the recipe had ground sausage. So you would have little crumbles. I got meatballs. That's what I got. You can make it your own. All right. So we got this beautiful mushroom gravy. And honestly, oh, I have the other skillet. one all right so i'm gonna put the top on here just so it can kind of stay warm but this is done all right so you all can see our mushrooms our mushroom sauce cream sauce and our meatballs hello king thank you for being here so I'm gonna put the top on this and I'm just gonna set it behind me so it can stay warm. And we're just gonna to lightly toss our zucchini spirals in a little bit 
You can use cooking spray. All right, so I'm gonna take it off and just set it here. Let it do its thing. Put this on. I'll put a tiny bit of olive oil or cooking spray or whatever. I mean, literally just a drip. And we're going to turn this up to like medium. And I'm gonna get a handful. Oh, user says it looks delicious. Excuse me, so to be gluten-free, I'm using zucchini spirals. These came refrigerated, okay? You can get them frozen or refrigerated. It's literally just fresh zucchini, and I'm taking a handful since it's refrigerator cold, and I'm gonna put it in the skillet. I'm gonna salt and pepper it just a little bit so it has a little bit of flavor like pasta would, okay? Then we're gonna plate. Really? That's it. All right, so a little bit of salt. And a little bit of, you really don't need to pepper it. You could do garlic powder, onion powder, any of that stuff, or just plain, because that sauce has so much going on. This is literally just to heat it. I don't want to microwave it. We're doing just a quick little... Christina says, does the air fryer underneath get hot on the counter, like up underneath here? I would say yes. I have granite countertops, so they can take it. I could put something directly out of the oven on here, but if you're using like a little side table, you want to make sure that you um, insulate <laughs> at a moment. All right, y'all. I think we're just about done. I just want these to, yeah, I'm feeling the heat coming through and let's get a plate so we have a white plate we've got our parsley already cut up y'all know me and the struggle herbs but we got some parsley as a garnish shout out team parsley all right i don't want to cook it down too much it's starting to wilt you can see the heat's coming through there so we're good honestly i could have done more it's kind of like spinach it'll really like Wilt down. All right, y'all, let's get a plate, small plate, so that we look like a big portion or a big plate. All right, so for portion control, I just have a salad plate. So I'm just going to literally just pour this on to the plate. And I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit, flatten it out just a little bit. All right. And I'm going to taste one just to see did I salt it well. Yes, ma'am. All right. Y'all know we're greedy. Let me get that spatula and get the rest of this out. Does anybody else have a visceral, visceral reaction to good stuff going to waste y'all know how they do on those cooking shows where there's still some good stuff in there and they just toss it and i'm like no all right cleaning up so we can get ready for our picture so we got that i'll move this let's bring our sauce over oh, man. all right let's give this mushroom a nice little stir. All right. So let's do this. Let's put two, maybe three. Let's put the mushrooms in here or four. And then we'll pour the gravy on top for your extra protein. Wannabe, I don't know if you're still doing the AI, but I have no idea what that means. All right, let's do three. Let's not be greedy. All right, so let's go in here and get some, some goodness, sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. This could be pasta, but I'm going to kind of get it all up in there. Is that good or we need some more? All right. 
get up in there. Drizzle that on there, that goodness. All right, let's put some fresh parsley as a garnish. This is done. We got extras. Always turn the handles out of the way. And then we have some parsley that I cut up. So no noodles for me, but, oh, y'all know what would be good on here? I gotta do a little Pecorino Romano. But <laughs> Jackie says, what is it? This is a mushroom, what does it really say? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Once I get ready to eat, like, <sighs> don't be asking me all of those questions. Sorry, so rude. Creamy sausage rigatoni, okay? But I didn't use um, sausage. These are beef mushrooms, and I didn't use um, rigatoni. The zucchini makes it pop. Thank you, Coco Rose. Christina says, enjoy. Oh, yeah, we're about to dig in here. We're going to put some Pecorino Romano, which is my substitute for Parmesan. So first time making it, I always do it fair way. Let's clean up and take some nice pictures. All right. Put a few things in here to tag. I don't know how we do. You found the spot. Oh, you're setting up your air fryer. I love it. Love it. Nice protein and veggie meal. So this is how my channel started. I would post pictures. This is what I'm eating today. And people said, did you make that? Yes, I made that. Hello, Auntie Jenny. Thank you for the rose. This is what I made today. We're having a zucchini pasta with mushroom uh, and meatballs. All right. I'm gonna get you guys a close up, one moment. All right, so let's take our pictures, get up close on your food. <sighs> I'm so excited. All right. So when you all see these, did you make that? Yes, I made that. Lily says it looks great. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. All right, let's do a quick video and we'll taste. All right, so today we made the taste of home recipe for the creamy sausage mushroom rigatoni, but we did it on zoodles to keep it gluten-free. We have beef meatballs instead of sausage. We have silk whipping cream to keep it dairy-free and also plant butter to keep it dairy-free. Garnish with parsley. Enjoy. All right. So this was the goal. This is what we have. Make sure everybody can see your dinner is ready. Thank you all for the likes. Thank you for the hearts. Have a good night. Enjoy your air fryer. All right. We'll taste it plain. Then we'll put a little Pecorino Romano that's like a um, Parmesan substitute. If you need it. You probably don't. But you all see you could do um, peppers or whatever else you like on here. All right, I'm going to try and eat it elegantly. Y'all know I just want to get in there. But let me cut. All right, so I think we gave you guys all of the updates. Again, go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com for everything until the other website is up. So we're going to put our, our, what is this, our fork in our left hand to pierce it down. And then you saw off a bite-sized piece, one at a time, with your knife, all right? So we have our, mush, our meatball looking nice and tasty. All right, then we're going to put a little bit of sausage and a little bit of... Um, zoodles pasta onto our <laughs> fork for a bite-sized bite. Pasta is a little tricky one. We will be all right. All right, then we're gonna taste it. You don't even really need 
Anything else, y'all? It is so good. It is so good. I got a date with a plate. Mmm, it tastes look so healthy and good. Accountability's here. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Says Maggie. Mmm. Lisa says, uh, I wish it was wet ready. Mm-hmm. Thank you all so much. Smaller bits. I know, right? Okay. We'll take smaller bites, y'all. That's the etiquette teacher, probably. Hello, Baba Sky, and hello, Auntie Jenny. Well, let me just show you all what we have here. I'll take one more smaller bite, then I'm gonna dismiss and I will see you all again. If you're new here, I'm streaming twice a day, noon Eastern, and then tomorrow I got parent teacher conference. So sometime in the evening. All right, so let's go for a very small bite. <laughs> Shout out to the finishing school. All right, just a little bit, a little mushroom. In all seriousness, you don't wanna have your mouth like with food that's too much. So just take a little bit that you can eat in one bite. All right, put a little bit of zoodles on there. Y'all, this cream sauce, if you're vegetarian, leave out the meat. The mushroom sauce has so much flavor. If you don't like mushrooms, I don't know what to tell you. Auntie Jenny says Maggie's on all platforms. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to meet you all everywhere. All right, we are done. I have a date with a plate. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to the Real Bravado Network. I appreciate the donation. You all can give this a try. Jackie says looks good. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. So uh, this is the Taste of Home recipe, and we just made it our own, all right? sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So like Auntie Jenny said this morning, ladies, cook for your man. Look, we got two portions. There's extra everything. Y'all know what I do. Make a plate, pack a plate. Don't send them out into the world hungry. All right, hello, Kosua. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> yes, Auntie Jenny is welcome here anytime. She says small bites on air, large bites off air. Absolutely. So we're going to go ahead and dismiss so I can enjoy my meal. I appreciate y'all so much. I will see you all tomorrow. Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. Teachable moments with Maggie for everything that I've got going on. Fill his belly. Absolutely. All right. TikTok, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the hearts and the shares. Class is dismissed. Instagram, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you. Class is dismissed. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Auntie, Jenny, Auntie Jenny's waiting. All right, everybody, have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. Class is